of the Metal Slug Slug Flyer. So, to begin, this is a very good model kit. Very strong plastic. Has uh, some special stuff you get with it. Our table parts comes pre-colored, comes in pre-colored plastic. Um, yeah, and it, it looks bloody insanely awesome. To begin, let's go for the box because that's where you should always begin. So begin with the box. Do not run away on me. The box is a very nice picture at the front. It's got a, a shine to it, which is really nice. It really brings some uh, detail to it. A photoshopped 10th anniversary sign to the 18th anniversary. Paragon Falcon Squad, and yeah. <laughs> now, on the model kit, you get plastic Gatling guns. They give you these special metal ones. And also, the front pictures have changed to the metal ones. I don't think you can do that unless you want to hot glue it and lose some of the special rotation features. Speaking of rotation features, you have some pictures of different. Focus. You can do it. Gonna have one day focus. I don't think I was gonna focus. Why are you not focusing? Okay, that's totally weird. Should focus. Um, have different pictures of the uh, different sides in the model kit. Pictures of some of the people. I'll just focus. I'm stuffing. It is killing me. Okay, nothing. It's being a dick. I'm sorry. Um, different rotation features. Uh, forwards and back of the model. A photoshopped picture of them flying. Hey, it focused. See that in better detail. Um, a different color. Why? Just the same thing on the side. At the back, it has a stand which you must pay extra money for, which I did not. What well, it looks like when it's just assembled hasn't been painted yet. All the different layouts of the, you know, slots. Caution sign. This is hilarious. This model needs to be assembled. No crap. Needs to. Read the assembly instructions carefully before beginning the assembly procedure. Warning, this product may contain sharp edges that could be dangerous. We suggest using a spirit cutter to remove flat parts from the part trees and finish off every remaining plastic with a hobby knife or file. Yeah, S Space is telling you how to do your job. This is not a toy. Yep, I pretty sure figured that part out. Same thing on the side again. Okay, let's open it up. There's absolutely nothing on the bottom. We have the world's best instruction manual. This is gold. Okay? When I say gold, I mean gold. You have a very nice, uh, the uh, Photoshop picture again. Looks quite nice there. They give you how to paint the thing is different colors. They give you all the colors. Quite literally, I mean, glare. All the colors there. There you go. Colors. How to paint it. More colors. What it should look like. The blue version, which I don't know why would you paint it blue. But there you go. And the Marines version. Now I know it's a Hurricane Jet, but... I don't quite get the reason why would you buy a small kit to paint it in the Hurricane Jet colors. You're buying a small kit to paint the Metal Slug colors, because it's from Metal Slug. It even says right there. So that's kind of confused to me, but... Hey, if you want to paint in the Marine colors, there you go. You can now. Okay, obviously on the other side, we... This, this, this um, instruction manual is very well done, I must admit. Oh, I'm lost in it. I lost it. Okay, we've got how to assemble it. Now, this thing's really has a lot of information here. Cartridges, how to cut things properly, how to apply decals. I did not know how to apply decals. I've never done decals before. And I was searching the internet and I was like, Oh, it tells you. That's amazing. I still hate decals. Um, all the parts and the numbering. How to put the figures on. Put decals on the cabin, how to screw it. They did a really good job. They, you have to screw the seat in. That's the only one that applies a screw because you can change the figures without you know breaking the seat, which is really well thought out. Everything else goes together pretty well. It is a bit of smashing because some parts don't want to go together. But um, yeah, it's, 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 some parts do require a little bit of fiddling around again and they don't just go click. Which is maybe, I don't know why, it just doesn't want to go together. Probably because it left some flak, fl flash on it, probably. Um, I put the wheels together, other stuff. We've got lots of pictures everywhere of the 
things from the internet. Other stuff. Now, this is really interesting. You can put the Metal Bug model kit, which is the rip-off version, not rip-off, but, you know, unlicensed mo model kit, on top of this. It has a part which does it. Where is that part? Hey, seriously. I don't know. I don't ever remember. I think it's photoshopped. I don't remember seeing the game. You can put the Metal Slug tank on top of the Slug Flyer. But I could be wrong. Maybe I've never found the Easter egg yet. Maybe some people have. I do know you can put the uh, characters on top of that and you can fly around in the train level. But I don't know about the tank. I'm not interested to go try that out, but you can. Sold separately. Metal bug. Put it on top of that connecting piece and it looks ridiculous. Uh, guns. How to put the stand on. Now, this is really cool. I really love this. This has absolutely nothing to do with the mole kill in general, but has to do with Metal Slug. They give you. Like, this entire information, which you can read perfectly, about, you know, oh, the regular army, it's the world government, it gives you information on the regular army, um, army, the rebel army, how it all happens from the beginning, you know, the entire bombing, and the entire invasion, and what happened, and all the stuff up to where Metal Slug begins, it's great. Got lots of pictures of, the, of all the different vehicles, and all this, it's well done, I must admit, this is well done. And you got like this that symbol again on the back. I need someone who can read Japanese tell me what that symbol says. I'm pretty sure it says that in Japanese because I know each of those symbols in Japanese means a sentence, I believe. But I can't read Japanese, so that's not wrong. Um, oops. Now, as let's begin. Decals. I've already used some, obviously, but um, great decals. I hate decals. I wish those gave me stickers. I'm sorry, I've never used decals before. I, this is my first model kit, I must admit, because I, I'm already pretty experienced with model making, after, you know, making an entire world and figures out of clay, cardboard, and hot glue. So, yeah, I, I know how to do models, but this is my first model kit I've actually bought. And I've never done decals before, and as I said in the model and instruction manual, it told me how, but still, putting hot water, gluing, and everything, I broke quite a few by accident, but, um... Yeah, it, they, they give you a lot, and they give you different decals for those other random colours. You can paint your slug flyer, which then it's more of a hurricane jet. Um, obviously these are the parts I've already put together, so you can see. Now it comes pre-coloured, which means there is absolutely no need to um, prime it, unless you're trying to paint one of the other colours, which, again, a good reason not to, just paint the metal slug colours. I mean, the slug fly colours, because, like, they come pre it's come in the correct colouring already. The plastic is the correct colours, so that's a bonus. Plus, also when you get the, t the get the um, model, the uh, windshields are already being painted, so that's a really good thing. So there's no need to muck around with, um, you know, putting a, a masking tape over the, uh, you know, the clear parts of the windows, I mean the glass, and then painting everything else. Now, it comes pre-done, which saves a lot of hassle. And actually keeps the fun up. I'm putting it right there. Look at that amazing light. Oh, I tucked in this box back to the Very tight fit. I dropped the structure manual. Oops, crazy. Love the light, isn't it? Red, green, and blue. After must ha must much hassle, mole kit, the uh, kit's back together. Now we get on to the action model kit itself. So to begin with, we've got the special focus. I know you want to focus. Seriously, you gotta focus one day. Oh, it's for zooming then. We got these special. There we go. Metal Gatling guns. These are real metal. Seriously, they're real metal. Um. Pretty darn cool, I must admit. So you can have some metal Gatling guns, if you like. So we go on the first pilot, which I painted up. Part of my painting, this guy was completely a friggin' God, it was hard to paint. It was kind of hard to paint because the uh, figures are good, but some of the details on them, so like, you know, like um, the helmet and stuff, it's really kind of hard to distinguish where it ends. So that was a slight problem trying to paint him up, but there's the uh, fighter pilot. Now the metal slug, metal slug flyer, oh, metal slug. The slug flyer itself. Slug flyer. Okay, so to begin with, it says in the box you got the 360 degree rotating guns. That's true, but 
Also, this music is copyright, and I need to change it, I'm sorry. But also, the fact is that um, it doesn't just do 360 degree turning, not 360, uh, 120. It actually goes up, down, up, down, forwards, back, Galling gun turns, 